you're seeking because you want to improve yourself and you want to become better, then I have to tell you, it's never going to happen. It's never ever going to happen. The seeking is the ego and the ego is never content. No matter how many books you read, no matter how much you, you're doing with courses or YouTube videos or whatever, you will never ever succeed because the seeker is seeking. It's the job of the seeking. And the ego is the one seeking. And the ego is never content. If you look back on your life, you will see that you have achieved a lot. A lot of things which you really, really wanted, you actually achieved. But it didn't leave you very content. And it's because that's part of the ego. The ego is constantly striving, constantly craving, constantly wanting to, to do more, to achieve higher, more, um, and it's never ever content. It's part of it. So for you to feel content, you need to, first of all, let go of the seeking. It's fine to read books and it's fine to be joining courses and it's fine to listen to YouTube videos and it's fine to do all that. But if you do it because you in the moment actually enjoy doing it, then you are harvesting something completely different than what the seeker is harvesting. Because the seeker is looking for something particular, something specific. And whenever is happening, is not happening the way that you want it to happen, then the ego will think that there's something wrong with what actually happened. So therefore it will keep seeking, it will keep striving, it will keep wanting more and different than what actually is. So the seeker will never find and you will never ever be content. What you need to do instead is to realize that what is happening right now is exactly like it's supposed to be. When we think that what is right now should be different than what it actually is, then again, it's the ego. You are comparing what is with what you actually want. And you will never ever be satisfied because the ego will never ever be satisfied. So if you want to feel content in what is, then sit down right now, breathe and just get in contact with, uh, with what actually is. And what actually is, is exactly like it's supposed to be. And the proof is that it is. It's difficult to talk about because as soon as I say that whatever is, is exactly like it's supposed to be, you will start to mention all the things in your life that is not like you want them to be. You want something else. That is part of the identification. And I'm going to make a series where I talk about identification and I talk about the resistance that is connected with identification. I'm going to call it identification, non-identifying 101 or identification 101 or something like that. And I'm going to have a workshop on the 11th of June where I talk about identification as well. So the issue that we actually have when we're not content with what is right now, it is that we are identifying with something else, something else that we want. And that makes us discontent with what actually is. So whatever is happening, you have probably experienced in your life, if somebody had given you a compliment, you didn't take the compliment to heart. You didn't really feel the compliment because it was not said in the right way or the circumstances were not right or it wasn't the right person saying it or something else. And that's typical of the ego. The ego is putting obstructions into whatever is. So you won't actually experience what actually is, but you will only experience what is not in the way that you want it to be. And that way, you will never, ever be content. So if you want to hear more about identifying, then look out for the Identification 101 or Non-Identifying 101 and, uh, and join for the workshop that I have on the 11th of June where I talk about identification. 